going on guys chase daniel here this is the chase daniel show we're digging back into college quarterbacks today we are going to break down drake may big strong country honestly reminds me a little bit of philip rivers he's very raw coming out he had a really good year last year this year not so much the offensive line was a huge issue the receiver separation that he had to go through uh, throwing the ball. The receivers were not getting open. A lot of it fell on his lap. But if you're an NFL team, you gotta love the upside. You gotta love the ceiling. I can't wait to show you it. He's got a strong arm. He's accurate. He's a lot more mobile than you guys think. And it'll be interesting to see where he goes in the 2024 NFL draft. Let's break it down right here, right now. All right, what's going on guys? Let's get to it. All right. I just think it's funny too. Just want to point this out. All the boards that they do in college. Like it's a real point. First of all, it's third and 10. Okay. Here's the line to gain. But all the boards they do of everyone I've broken down, Caleb Williams, Drake May, JJ McCarthy, <clears throat> Michael Penix, all these guys, they all do this other than really JJ. I feel like JJ McCarthy doesn't, but with Drake May um, and every other quarterback, just want to point this out. They have to actually huddle in college okay so let's just keep that in mind I, I watched a lot of a lot of drake may film and the biggest issue i had with drake may is really not with him uh, if you go back to last year or two years ago and look at his film uh, much better he had receivers he had offensive line they were a really good team this year the receivers not so much i know their main receiver was out most of the year but the offensive line play uh to put it nicely just wasn't good just being honest um, and another time, uh, another thing in this game, and we're going to see it in some of these snaps. we got nine snaps to look at, is they were all out blitzing Drake May. And honestly, this kid did not have an idea on what was going on. That's all right. He's going to fix it at the next level. I think his ceiling's really high. I think he can be really special. And if you look, right, like I, I showed the first play as a scramble drill. Um, they, they ran some version of this play um, at least six times. So it, it's... It's this wheel and in, it's this through, it's this switch release, stop, and not a lot of stuff's open. When you're playing this quarters coverage like this, you want to be able to throw it to the outside, and he does, on time and in rhythm. Just this game plan, okay, specifically versus Miami, didn't think it was the best game plan for, for Drake. I thought there was um, a lot of holes in it, but I did think Drake played probably one of his best games of his year. Uh, and, and look, this is what this UNC offense is. It's like, hey, we're doing stuff on the edge. If it's not there, I feel like half of their offense is just him scrambling up the middle. Um, but luckily for, for him and for his teammates, he's really, really good at making guys miss in the pocket. He's big. He's tall. Obviously, said in the intro, strong. I'm excited to see what he's going to do at the next level. He's very raw, though. Like he just sees this B gap open and I don't, I don't mind him doing it. Like you just got to take off and go, just take off and go get what you can. You got to be able to protect yourself. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it a lot of the next level, but look at this, look at this dead leg. Yeah. Oh, broke 51's ankles. That is being talked about in the film room for sure. No doubt. All right. Next play here. Trips bunch formation. All right, you got a single receiver down here, third down again. I usually, when I do this, pick out big time third down conversions and plays. Let's see what they're doing here. All right, they're just rushing four. They're playing quarters coverage. Oh, not a good decision. Okay, we're going to pick out the good. We're going to pick out the bad. Um, and as you can see, right, this offensive line, this left guard, sorry, this right guard, he's setting this way, and this guy's coming scot free. Like, can't happen. Understand it. Okay, and, and I will say that they are running. Um, a very NFL style offense. I will give them that. Like when I'm watching these plays, right? It's a shallow cross. It's a corner. It's this choice route where you can break in or break out. You got some type of man alert this side. I love it. Like, like if he has time, he hits this choice route right here by number three. We called it a cash route. C choice cash. I don't know why we did it, but we did it. And he just doesn't have any time. And I do like that he is in everything that I'm hearing, in meetings and everything like that, he's got a very, very bright mind. Can't do this though. When stuff's breaking down, look, I guarantee he was in the coach's head. Hey, don't take a sack. Don't take a sack. Well, sack's better 
then throwing it into double coverage right here. Obviously, everyone makes mistakes. I just want to make sure I'm pointing some of this stuff out, which he is raw. This is this is a, something you can't have happen at the next level because nine times out of ten, that's Derwin James, that's Cal Hamilton, that's Tyron Matthew. They're going to pick this off, and they're going to go the other way for six. Just trying to put these guys and hold these guys at a little bit of a higher standard going to the next level so you can expect what they're going to get. All right, here you go. He even points. This is the thing. Watch, watch straight. He's pointing. Hey, this defensive end's coming. Let's make sure we don't slide past them. And what does the guard do? Slides past him. Okay, right in his face. Does a good job of avoiding right here. Okay, really good ball placement. Okay, got two hands on the ball, which is if you want to get a, uh, you know, next level, that is something that is being taught at, at the NFL level. Big time. Two hands on the ball. Okay, he thinks he's going to make a miss. All right, just can't throw this ball into oblivion right there. All right, let's get to the good stuff. Second and eight. I like the tempo. Watch how fast they're going. Watch this ref. I've seen it time and time again. This ref right here is trying to get out, falls, makes it funny, but you know, doesn't happen right there. Two by two formation. This was the best play of the game. This is what separates this guy because he can do this. He can scramble out to his left. He can do everything that you need to for a quarterback to do. And pretty much they're just running like all hitches. So it's like an option route. You can go in, you can go out, you can sit. An option route, in, out, sit, and then just like a hitch route right here. Okay, they're playing some type of like quarters coverage again. So they tried to make Drake check the ball down, get to their, uh, get to his check down, get to his back. Wasn't happening, nothing's there. Pocket collapses on this side. He's able to escape to the left. This is a very, very difficult throw. Going to the left. First of all, his his shoulders are facing here, and the receiver is there. So great scramble drill by him. Amazing throw. When you get a guy this open, you're going to see me talk about it a lot. You're going to see pro guys do it. Just put it on their body. Don't try to lead them. Don't try to make it some special catch. Okay, he's reading the right side because the quarter side, you want to work the field side with the halfback. Have no issue with that. I think he goes through his progressions pretty well when he's given time. All right, look, this isn't going to happen in the NFL where someone's going to twist and you got three dudes in one gap, but he sees it, really heads up play by him, goes out to the left, and look, I mean, this is this is really good. Like, really, really good. Okay, this is a very difficult throw. Probably one of the most difficult throws on the run for a right-handed quarterback going to their left, throwing across their body, okay, it's just difficult. He makes it look easy because he's got the arm strength. If he goes to a system that can really fit his skill set and a coach that can get the absolute best out of him, I think he's got a really good shot at the next level. And I'm going to be honest, the film, the watching the film sometimes is, is difficult. But this is what makes it awesome is like in a, in a play like this where he took a sack last time, he's able to take off and scramble. Okay, nothing nothing's open. Okay, and, and look, there's there's... He's going to throw this out route right here. Okay, it's a two-by-two two formation. He has a big post on this side. He decides he wants to take this freebie. So you have a freebie rule. Hey, they're playing quarters on this side, half safety on this side. And they say, hey, let's just take it. All right, look at him. That's why he's looking down here. Okay, he play fakes. Nothing's open. I think he could have thrown it. I think he could have thrown it. Okay, he thought that nothing was open. I don't know what he's seeing. Thought he could have thrown it. He should then get back because he's look, looked off this safety because he's looking him this way. He should then get back to this little corner post right here, um, but doesn't end up happening. Okay, if he gets back to it, he could probably throw that. But he decides to take off and scramble. That's fine. So really two guys open on that play. When he thought that nobody was open, ends up scrambling for a play. Okay, that's fine. Which just love to see him like let loose throw that ball right there. Okay, got a good got a good uh, arm angle right there. Okay, he's got a good carry on his left arm. I think his release is tight. It's not very long. Footwork's good. Really good just calmness in the pocket, right? Would have loved for him to see back here and get back here and throw this big post right here. Don't even know if that's part of the read, so it's hard for even me to say, hey, he should have got back there. I think it's open and what I'm seeing, but he took a freebie, wasn't there, took off. Let's go. Okay, third and long right here. Okay, empty formation. 
like empty. You don't see it a ton in this offense. I think it fits his skill set best. And what do you know? Just an absolute dime shot. God, I love the Tar Heels. Love their, love their blue, man. It's sweet. And look, pretty much they're just running. You call this a juke route. Okay, you, you can juke this way or you can juke that way. And then seam routes that can bend versus single high. Some type of hitches out there. Watch him. He knows, hey, I'm working to the field. If this mic stays in this safety, let me draw this. If this mic stays down on this juke route and this safety gets off the hash, I'm going to have some action right here. And it's not wide open, okay? But somehow this quarter safety decides, hey, I want to go double. He sees it. This is the vision I'm talking about. When he does see stuff, he's already throwing the ball. The receiver's just now out of his break, okay? It's a very tight window throw. This is an NFL level type throw. Okay, we're gonna show it from the back view. Throws an absolute dot. Okay. Trying to get set. Empty. Okay, you got this juke route. Okay, he's looking down at this juke route. That's what helps this quarter safety come up. And he throws an absolute dart, okay, to this receiver right here. Look at that. That's a tight window right there. We'll show it full view. I wish these college films weren't so tight like i wish you could see more but it's really good footwork moves a little bit in the pocket i like it right there throws a dot nice throw second and five two by two they're going fast this is what they got to to try and keep miami from zero blitzing them like they were okay they're not zero blitzing them right here let's see this throw nothing open once again okay it's it's the same it's the same route it's like one side is a like a deep hitch, nine stop, and a fade. And then the others are just hitches right here. He decides to go up here, not open. Nothing else is there, all right? And it's just, it's difficult for me to watch. Like, hey, throw the ball away right here. But he's, he's trying. So I can't fault him. I'm just saying there's some pocket presence uh, things that just with comes with playing and more experience that he'll get a lot better at. Just want to show you everything, the good, the bad, the indifferent, okay? Once again, rush your right in your face. It's not good. A simple little TE game. So tackle goes first. E, that's why they call it a T. E, didn't think I'd be talking about this on this film, but we are. Here we go. Okay, this guard should set vertical right here. He doesn't. Watch this guard. He puts his hands on as soon as that's the case. He's on his outside shoulder. He should come off and get this. Doesn't happen. Okay, so he gets out of the pocket early. A little bit, a little bit messy. Okay. Some other games, like I said earlier, hard to watch. Second and nine. A couple more plays here, two by two. That's another thing. When these, when these guys, all of these, not just Drake, when they get in the NFL, they're going to be so much different, different formations than just two by two, three by one. I think it'll really help him. Once again, this is, the, this is what they're doing. Playing quarters. Okay, let's see what they're doing here. Shot downfield. Dime. The deep ball accuracy. Like, I love it. I love it. It's awesome. And it's this is a concept that literally every NFL offense runs, uh, different formations, but this is just the two by two. It's a heavy, deep post right there, a corner, okay? And you have some type of deep in and then an out. And you're just reading it pure progression. So the corner is one, this is two, this little turn route, and this deep in is three, unless you get quarters. If you get quarters, you are alerting this post. And he's going to throw this sucker a country mile, okay, 50 some odd yards in the air on a dart. And this is what you love when, when stuff presents itself, you're going to take it. Look at that tight spiral too. Let's go back. Really, really good throw. He reminds me a little bit of like his stature. I don't think he's that big, but Justin Herbert. Yes. I said, Justin Herbert. Okay. Nice throw. Look at the spiral. We're going to have to slow-mo this. So nice. Best throw of the game easily. Another dart for our guy, Drake. Here it is, cover zero. What's the plan? Oh, they're bluffing. They're getting out. Okay, I said cover zero because it looked like there was a lot of guys up there. They're bluffing. They're getting out. Okay. Dagger throw. Okay. This is awesome. Such a good throw. Leads them in there. Clear out, dagger, looks like you have a corner stop and a flat, so you're just reading pure progression. Here's number one, here's number two, here's number three. Excellent pocket presence, 
Third and 20. There's the down marker right there. There's a line of scrimmage. And you're able to throw this. The Mike linebacker does not get depth. He sees it, puts it over the mic, and the receiver does the rest. Such a good throw. See from this back view. Okay, double A mug. This is the defense he's going to see in the NFL. Two linebackers. This is D lineman, D lineman, defensive lineman, defensive lineman. Usually they'll pressure or drop out. Okay, good protection. What happens when he gets good protection? That little movement to the right, right there. That's what I love. He feels this defensive end right here. Let me just get out of here. Right here, come inside. Just move a little. But when he moves, I want you to watch his eyes. Watch his eyes. His eyes are up when he's moving. He's not rush watching like a lot of teams do. Throws a dime. I mean, the ball gets there in an absolute hurry. Let's see it full speed. Awesome throw. Puts it in a position for his receiver to be all able to run after a catch. All right, last play right here. First and four. Just thought this was sweet. A little, little trickery right here. Okay, we need to put this in the NFL. It's like slipper naked is what we call it right here. You're going to fake it, open up, throw an easy touchdown. Okay, you got the back. You're faking the reverse. Watch what it does with these eyes. But that's, that's the thing about Drake. Like, like the talent is there. The skill is there. Everything is there. Just a little bit of raw, a little bit of an experience. If he gets with the right coaching staff, I really do think that he's going to be dangerous in the NFL.